Today in the Pedal Vault, the This Heavy Earth Crusty Fiction. This Heavy Earth is a US custom building company for guitar effects and their Crusty Fiction is basically their most prominent pedal and it's an HM2 clone. Well, clone is a bit misleading because this is so much more and that's why we're seeing it here standalone and not in comparison with the original HM2 because first of all we have to find out what this can actually do. So let me go first to the outer appearance. It's a really nice black housing with even black foot switches. I've never seen them before. Really like them. The artwork it's not my personal favorite. However, I really like the purple gray black uh, color scheme. That's really cool. Okay, so what do we have? We have low, low mid, high mid, high. So we have a four band EQ. We have, of course, a gain control. We also have a gate. Then we have level control, obviously. Then we have a clipping control that lets us select the amount of hard clipping saturation. This is a stock HM2 setting when we have it, when it's fully uh, clockwise. And then we have a blend option. We can blend in some dry signal and we can also adjust the level of the dry signal with this clean control here. The blend knob is actually in front of the level control. So if we crank level, we also crank the clean signal. We have the bypass switch, of course, then we have an EQ only mode that basically defies any gain stage if you just want to use it as an EQ. But there is more. So let's look at the back. Here we have a total of seven internal trim controls. Those two are just for the brightness of the LEDs. And those four are for the four EQ controls, low, low, mid, high, mid and highs. And here we can actually dial in the center frequency. And for the high mids, we can actually select the Q so we can make it broader or narrower if we want to. Those are all at stock settings, which means in the middle. And we will play around with them later on. Let's look at the curve. We have a totally wet signal, but let's focus on the dry signal first. So bland. Now we have the dry signal and as you can see when I turn clean up I can increase the volume and level actually brings everything down. That's how this works. So first of all let's look at low. Huge emphasis in the 100 hertz region. And we can of course cut it. Low mids. It's at 360. Should be cut for HM2 sound. High mids. It's at 1K. and highs. It's at 1.4.5k. So now what happens when we increase gain, we lose bass and we get some high frequencies. So let's leave gain at full and now let's dial back clip 
And as you can see, as the saturation decreases, the signal gets louder because it's not as much compressed. Only in the last bit of the range. Okay, gate we will try out later. Okay, so now let's toggle this EQ. Now just the EQ mode is active. No, gain has no con function clipping. Clipping actually does something, okay. So just gain. So this justifies gain and not clip. Okay, let's focus on the different bands. So we go to 160 and we can dial it back to 90, 85 maybe. Now loom it. So very subtle, we can go low than uh, up to 300 or maybe 280. And it goes as high as 5 to 600. Now Heimitz, most important one. Because from nine to eight hundred up to one point six, one point seven, maybe one point eight even. Okay. That's a huge range. And this should do something with the Q, although I can see. Now, hi. to 1.3, 1.2 maybe, up to over 2K. Just this effect. No, so I can't tell you right now what this thing actually does. It doesn't seem to affect anything. Maybe when we turn everything up we can see if this is doing something nope I can tell I would say this has no function just assuming based on the Q control one more thing to show you well if I can show it to you on the homepage of this heavy earth it is stated that um, the crusty fiction can run with a couple of different power supplies we can get a 9 volt dc 12 volt dc and 18 volt dc and it will actually change the way it sounds so i've enabled my geox dc7 uh, those three channels this is 9 volt this is 12 volt and this is 18 and now we well, let's basically crank the gain 
maybe just this give it a nice curve lots of gain and this is nine volts so let's hook it up to 12 volts headroom is increased and let's put it to 18 volts even more headroom and this is actually suggested when you use the EQ only mode. So 18 volts, now 12 volts. And 9 volts. Okay. As you can see on the EQ curve it's basically just more volume the higher the voltage goes. Okay. I've shown you everything, now let's find out how this pedal actually sounds.
of stuff to say and most of it is very positive. So let's start with positive. I really like the artwork. Awesome. Black foot switches. Why doesn't every company use those? And um, the power supply, you, you can run it with 9 volts, you can run it with 12 volts, even with 18 volts. Uh, it just increases the headroom, I think. That's a really cool solution. You can further tweak your tone. The controls itself, awesome. You get some really unique sounds. You get awesome HM2-ish sounds. You get, well, basically all kind of different uh, distorted sounds you wanna have. And you even have more options with the internal trim pot. So you can really dial in the sound as you like. Then we have blend control. We even have two controls for blend. That's unique, I think. I haven't seen it before. You can boost the level of the clean. Awesome. We have an additional gate. And uh, we also have this clip control. Really, really interesting. And um, I haven't seen this as well on a pedal. So really cool. However, I have one 
negative thing to say and we're talking especially in front of driven amps or distorted amps and that's basically the EQ control because in front of driven and distorted amps it much more feels like I have a three-way switch instead of a knob. We basically have the position off, then we have everything in between, middle, and then we have on. Uh, I really would have wished that with more range and that the sound would be more controllable. So if I dial in a chainsaw, I basically have to max it. If I have it at 9.5, nope, 10. And everything else in between, nothing, basically stays the same. And then at zero, it's again, something else. I don't know if this is intentionally, if this is a technical issue that can be solved, if this is a technical issue that can't be solved. I personally don't see a big problem because uh, we basically have three options and that's it's enough for me. And, uh, but yeah, I think it's just fair to say. Okay, and that's my verdict. And now I'm curious, what do you think about the Crossy Fiction? Do you own some of this heavy earth effect? I really wanted one to have for a long time, but I always uh, struggled with uh, shipping fees, uh, you know, customs. America, it's kind of expensive. So, but I got it for a good deal. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Instagram. May the force be with you and have a nice day.